In today's video, I'm going to show you how we generated our students $37,000 in the first month of launching our coaching offer. And we're going to break it down using this proven framework about backstory, okay? So in just one month, we generated over 37000 from just nine students who joined the program. And the fact is we haven't actually fully launched the offer yet. So if you're a content agency, freelance video editor, photographer who's stuck at 2 to 3k a month and you're wanting to scale to 5 or 10k a month consistently, I'll break down exactly how we did it for our students. And here's some actual results, as most people don't actually have results, okay? We gained this year get 4k, 11.5k, 3k, just under just under 4k this month, the 5k US. He had 10k this month as well. And it closed it well, it was on it was actually on six actual calls. It closed three, so 1550, 1600, and then 4.9k um for one client, which is just insane. And then literally not even eight hours later, he closed another client for 1750. Okay. Emmett, he just joined on, he was he lacked clarity on what to do, he didn't really have any clients at all. Um, but he joined within two days. He got a guy signed up for two hundred and fifty pound service fee with five hundred pound ad spend, and that's just running ads. That's not like even the content service. That's not going to cheat the content. That's not going to you know actually film it, edit it, etc., etc. And then also he wants to uh, upsell GHL as well. So all the gear, this client, he should he should get on for at least a, a thousand to two thousand every single month. And then within this period as well, the last. Well, three four weeks he's gained another three clients that's come on which is just insane then also on our 650 350 and then a 1400 dollar payment here as well so yes it actually does work okay um because you you see all these coaching programs and all these gurus trying to say like all this kind of stuff but man if they don't have the actual results to prove it i'd like to back it up like if you go into my instagram um, which is scale with Jamie. You go on there to the highlights. You'll see every single person that has joined. You'll see every single you know accountability. You'll see, you'll see literally every single payment. You'll see testimonials. You'll see everything. So you just know it works. Okay. So this is the four things we actually focused on to get high high tech clients. Okay. So foundations, which we'll go over today. Sales, service delivery, client retention, and this will all play into getting high tech results. So firstly, let's go on the foundations. So foundations are broken down into three things, optimizing your profile, market research, and building a killer offer, okay? So optimizing your profile, it's pretty simple. Just have a good profile picture, okay? So have like, if you look at my, you can literally base everything off my actual Instagram if you want, but simply just have a good profile picture. It's clear on, you can see your full face and it looks professional, okay? The next thing is your bio. So you can follow this framework, okay? Who you want to help, how you help them, and what you help them with. For example, you could say, I help real estate agents save time and money using short form content and paid ads. So obviously play about with, with your niche and who you help, etc., and how you actually help them with your offer. Highlights, so as you, as you as you said, you can go onto my Instagram, you can see all the results. So obviously show you client results, show who you are, so like your story, what you do um, on a day-to-day -day basis, all that kind of stuff. Next is market research. So figuring out your target audience. So that just means who you help, okay? So if you're targeting everyone, then you're targeting no one. You have to know their pain points and what they're struggling with so you can provide a solution. Your your offer is based around, we'll get into that next, but your offer is based around actually helping them solve a specific problem, okay, that they're having. So that's why it's so important to know your actual market. So building a killer offer. Your offer should solve all your target audience's problems. So that's why it's so important, as I just said. So when you attract high quality leads, aka like your target audience who's willing to buy from you, you can solve all their problems, plus it needs to have a unique point. So someone that's unique, someone that makes you stand out from everyone else, okay? And this can be anything that provides more value, provides a way for your client to make more money, okay? So instead of just implementing a content creation service like most people do, you can add a done for you service, like ad service on top of that, Okay, which will bring in quality leads for their business that they can literally just close over the phone or over a Zoom meeting or whatever it may be, okay? So you can do this for any any client at all. Like we have our students doing this right now and they're they're absolutely killing it. Okay. Next thing we want to go over is sales. So client acquisition, sales process, and then onboarding process. So client acquisition, it's pretty simple. It's this funnel, okay? So you use content plus ads. So you use long form content and short form content. 
These two t- together build trust, credibility, authenticity, together attention, interest and credibility, okay? Um, so your short form, you run for a profile visit ad. So that's where people come in and that's that's where most of you might even know me from, um, from an ad, because I do this as well. I don't, like, it's not like these gurus that just tell you to do something and they don't even do it themselves. Like, I do this. Um, so you just run some profile visit ads to get people under your, like, attention so you gain attention okay on your offer on your service on, on you personally whatever you do okay you gain some interest and credibility so when you're building out your brand it becomes a lot easier then because if you follow the foundations that we teach on the actual program then it just becomes a lot easier just to sign people okay long form you run some youtube ads so your long form of course would be on youtube just create a couple of videos run some youtube ads okay so again that builds trust credibility and authenticity Gains attention, interest, and credibility again. Okay, so you want to roughly spend. I would, I would even up this now. Okay, so you what you could do is your short form, make one or two ad creatives. So just make one or two ads that you know you think you know it's pretty pretty good. Okay, and then run some ads to that. Like do maybe one fifty to two hundred like dollars each. Okay, and you do the same thing for the long form. Long form just have really one kind of VSL kind of value. Um, on how they actually do what you do, how you get results, etc., etc. Then run some ads to that video. You can do an, an hour two hundred dollars. You can do a hundred and fifty dollars, whatever you want to do. So you could probably up this year. Um, I would probably up this to maybe like five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Um, but then just use like script templates. So like obviously change them according to your niche, your client pain points, etc. So um, that's for the like, ads, okay. And of course, the more you spend, the better. Of course, more you spend, the better. So there's two ways you can do this, okay? So once you set up the ads, etc., you can then run them to a VSL, okay? Which is kind of just a landing page where you can actually sell all what you do, okay? Um, you can build out automations linked to a CRM or a calendar. We partner with a billion-dollar company called Go High Level, which has an all-one software um, literally, you can do everything. You build it automations. You can you literally have your own CRM. You have your own calendar. Um, it's you can just book calls, etc. You can take payments. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with it, and that's why we partner up with. It. That's why we partner up with them. Um, so next thing, you book calls and close them as high ticket clients. Okay. And then the other way you could do this is send DMs, which is the way I actually prefer. Okay, so send DMs, find pain points, provide value. So give them a free training based on their pain points so if it's anything to do like you know um for example they can't get um enough clients from them you literally just take a, make a video about your funnel this funnel right here that we're doing and then literally send it to them breaking down everything that you do to get them high-tech clients hopefully that makes sense and then that builds even more trust and if it helps them they will most likely book on a call, okay? So literally you reach back out after you send them that video. Just say, look man, I just want some feedback and then that's it. Then all you have to say is then, happy days. I'm glad it helped you. Let's hop on a call. It's that simple because you provide a value first. Um, so that's kind of the way I want to do it. So find pain points on the DMs, provide value based on them pain points that helps them. It builds even more trust and if it really does help them, then get them to book on a call. And then you sign them for high ticket. And here's a tip, like offer this exact service to your clients. So offer this entire exact service that we teach to your clients. And of course, they probably won't be doing long form as much as short form. With short form, of course, you just do the exact same principle. So like you just build out their entire profile. You, you build out their foundations. So you build out the sales process. So let your client acquisition, you build this all out for them. Okay. And then you own the sales process. So the sales process is pretty simple. It all comes down to pre-sales. Okay. So providing a good experience, giving away as, f- as much free value as possible and get them sold before they even get on a sales call, okay? So send like, client testimonials, results, aka like you know, social, social proof. So just basically prove that you know what you're doing. So after I send over my portfolio and had a talk with a potential client and get them booked on for a call, etc. All I need to do is simply assure them that I'm the right person for the job, that I'm not going to fuck up their business that they spend years building. So the way I do that is by sending over client testimonials and results that I've gotten for others just like them. And this bought more trust and credibility with the pro- like prospect and shows them that I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? So they, they have a lot more trust in my ability to actually do things. And in return, it just provides a good experience, okay? You no, know, providing as much value as possible before you get on the call, 
Okay, so like even doing some free sample videos, I get so many guys too because I like obviously I have a content agency and I'm like hiring editors, etc. A whole bunch of guys just don't want to do sample videos. It's so stupid. I think like I started off, I had to do sample videos all the time, all the time. And don't get me wrong, most of them didn't pan out. Most of them didn't. But you have to understand if you sacrifice an hour of your day to have a better, like to have a better chance to land a client that will pay you anywhere from a thousand dollars to five thousand dollars every single month, or you don't sacrifice that hour, two hours, whatever, however, however long it takes to actually do the video, then you lose that chance of getting an extra a thousand to five thousand dollars every month. And when you put it like that, it just sounds fucking stupid. So if a potential, so if a, if a potential client actually asks for a free sample video then do it. It doesn't matter, just do it. Um, if it doesn't pan out, then it doesn't pan out. But if it does, you, ha- you could be on a chance to want, like, have an extra 1000 to 5000 coming in every single month. Um, so work for free. It it just, it works. Um, so providing some uh, free training videos as well. So breaking down how you do what you do, how you get results for your clients, okay? And then also you can add some testimonials within the video. It'll help you build even more trust and credibility. That, as if you can't tell by now, this entire thing, like every single process, builds trust and credibility to the point where literally they can't, like they can't say no as soon as they hop on a call. They hop on a call, you you literally follow the, the the sales process on the call. It's super simple, okay, and then they're pretty much already sold on your service before they hop on the call, okay. So as soon as they do hop on a call, then it just becomes so so much easier to actually sell them okay so create a good client experience and this is this is super important right like this goes throughout right this goes without saying as it says but there are so many people who have booked on a call and just not engaged with that customer until they got on the call and i was one of the people okay which is possibly one of the stupidest things you could do you have to make them feel appreciated welcome and excited okay so you you, you really have to get them hyped to be on the call with you and how you do that is completely up to you because even the smallest things you say or do can make a massive difference, okay? So like the words you use. So for example, thank you, I appreciate this, you're the man, etc. And also the tone in which you say those words, they all come into play. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna go over is onboarding process. And this is just like a wee framework from the course that we uh, provide. So Obviously, you do your onboarding form. Okay, you build that out and go high level, which is the billion dollar company that we partner up with. Okay, so you just gather some information. So on that, you'd have free you'd have free processes that you need to get. Okay, so free pieces of information that you actually need to get. So normal information, which would be like your name, your email, your phone number, etc. Okay. The next thing would be branding assets and designs. Okay, so if they have some, happy days. You can literally just get them to drop another file. And then all you have to do is download it and then go on from there. If they don't, then you would create them brand and assets, okay? So it provides even more value to them, okay? Which is really, really good. So you can focus on fonts, like the color palette that they want to use, the editing style, etc. Next thing you want to focus on is social media accounts. So figuring out their names, so the names of all the platforms that you use, um, you know, their names on each single platform. And then you want to get in touch with a client account manager. This will most likely be the client that you're you're talking to, okay? And this is just getting the information. So for example, like login details, um, that's pretty much all you really need. So you can actually log in and schedule out all the content, etc. So once you have that, and then you're you're on the onboarding call, right? So you schedule an onboarding call. You get the, all this in the form. You sign in. You do brand and assets. You get all the information. Okay. So on the onboarding call, it's pretty simple. Okay. So you would have to build them a roadmap, which we'll go over now in a wee minute. So build them a roadmap. So it's literally just like you know a process, a like step by step process, and how to get the, the results in the next one to three months. Does that make sense? So create a frame channel as well and create a Slack channel. So, you know, if you're using Frame or Slack, you can use whatever you want, but that's the two main ones that most people use. Um, so you do that and then you build SOPs around that. So literally, SOP just meaning a standard operating procedure. It literally just, it's like a guide or a video on how to do a certain task. You would literally create a video, a five-minute loom video on how to actually navigate Frame and Slack, and then just send that to your client. Okay, like how do you upload stuff, how do you actually download stuff, um, how do you review stuff, how do you like, you know, it's it's sample stuff. The next thing we're going to focus on is service delivery, okay? So, having a smooth process, first impressions, and building a roadmap, okay? So these three things are 
super crucial at least ever saw very of course there's a lot more to it but this is pretty much the basic so it's me process getting on quick ones and i can't stress how actual important this is okay these three steps are so important they're so important okay so quick ones get number one as quick as possible like as soon as possible so that could be more views better branding more sales more engagement that could be you know building my funnels building my automations like giving their time back etc whatever it may be so there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here the next is learning, so get them from your processes. So for example, the SOPs on how to use Slack, how to use Frame, how to use Go High Level, etc. And then execution, so starting to get clients like using paid ads. So implement the funnel that we just taught, like literally the, the ads funnel, implement that and get them more clients. So that is a smooth process. That's what kind of what you want to focus on in the next one to three months. So next is first impressions. So no matter what anyone says, first impressions last. I don't just mean like the first time you jump on a call. I mean everything from the content you post, how you position yourself, how you prepare for each and every single client, and how you do your service delivery. It all ties on, okay, so how you actually present yourself to everyone around you. Now, you can't be perfect all the time. You know, sometimes shit happens. So, for example, um, I've been having a lot of like problems with Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro is shit. But it has affected, you know, some client work that I do. Um, also, my editors have experienced the same thing, which, you know, puts some clients work behind on schedule. I don't know if you can hear that dog out there, but but no, that's Premiere's fault. Do you know what I mean? That is Premiere Pro's fault. It's a shit software. They don't, like, it's it's not it's not good at all. Um, but it's up to us to fix it and continue and catch up with all that work, okay? So we have a responsibility to the client, so we just need to make sure we adapt and overcome it, okay? And all you really need is be clear in communications and keep your clients on the loop, okay? So just give them you know, a time where you actually might be able to make the deadline, okay? If you can, and if you can't, just tell them it's okay. But the aim is to get that done and make sure that what's in your control is perfect and, you know, that takes some getting used to. And that takes some getting used to because of, you know, every client's, like, branding is different. It's going to take some time that's fine that's okay but in general the principles are still the same okay so just keep clear communication make sure it's a good first impression okay the next thing is roadmap so again this is our like kind of we can we um format we build it for all the clients um that join the program so the roadmap is pretty simple where they are right now so you diagnose exactly where they are right now you know the rev you know um like profit margins, um, what what they're struggling with, what they need to improve on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then you figure out where they want to be. So that could be you know you know an extra ten k, twenty k, thirty k a month. That could be you know um, you know taking taking their time back, you know automating their entire business, etc. And then how you're actually going to get them there. So for example, a real estate agent, you know where they are right now, they have no leads. Where they want to be is a shit ton of leads. And whether like how you're actually going to get them there so your service which is going to be like you know content or ads whatever it may be so you break down how you're actually going to do that okay and it's a, and it's a step-by-step process from you know month one the whole way to month three it's literally like weekly targets that they need to hit or things they need to do every single day they reach like that goal that they want to achieve okay and the last thing we're going to go over is client retention and the same thing again smooth process like this is super important that's why i highlighted in that last one we already are, are went over this but again it's just getting them quick ones learning and execution okay just making sure it's a smooth process all together then communication again we went over this having good communication with clients is key update like you just update them and how the process is how their content is coming along and plus and try and just add more value so well that be you can jump on you know a zoom help them build out their ad creators their vsl set of equipment so like lights camera like depth you know like posters you know setting up whatever it is okay and you do this every like two weeks and then you'd send them a report of what needs to be done the following week and here's a key thing that most people lack, okay? This is like, like honestly, most people don't do this, which is just, I think it's just utterly stupid, okay? So monthly reports, and, you know, it's pretty simple. You just break down metric reports over the last 30 days, so, like, engagement, views, leads, followers, you know, how things are performing, you know, what's working well and what's not working well, okay? It's pretty simple. Like, m- most people just try and overcomplicate this entire thing. Just create, like, a, do- a, like a doc or a presentation, breaking down each of these points, you know, the goal is to inform your client that you are on top of everything and that shows a level of professionalism. That's literally all we did to help you know, all nine of our students get 37k in, in, in general, like, do you know what I mean? 
it's pretty pretty straightforward to build out your foundations build out your sales like focus on service delivery client retention and all this comes in to getting and keeping high tech clients for a long period of time hope that gives you more clarity on what you actually need to do and you know guys if you want to join the program just shoot me a message over on instagram literally just shoot me a message and just say you know it's a program available etc etc and we'll see if you're a good fit and if you want to join we, we can get you on board within five months okay you know if you're not ready to buy it that's fair enough that's fine if you if you don't trust me enough that's fair enough like you probably just see me from an ad okay but just watch all my past content watch all my other stuff and you'd see that i'm actually legit me and robert put on so much time and so much hours and they perfect in our craft and really really getting a shit ton of feedback from all our clients just making it the best possible thing that we can make it okay so guys if you want to get results just like this you know just shoot me a dm and we can get you started okay thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video